What's up YouTube, it's your boy Michael, and in this video I'm going to share with you another UI library that I just stumbled upon that I find to be so clean, so sick, um, and I've already added some of the UI elements into my production application, so let's get into it. It is called Syntax UI, and is it is by a gentleman named Ansub, um, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but make sure to give him a follow, this is super clean and super sick. Now, um, unlike Shatsy and UI, it is a little bit more opinionated, but I'll be honest with you, I like the opinions, the opinions are quite nice. Um, so let's check it out. So they have a couple, there's a couple buttons, features, pricing, loaders, text, footer, input, tab, and toggle. And then there's also some uh, animations, like cover animation, this is called a skewed infinite scroll. There's some effects, which the image fade, which I literally just implemented in my app. Um, and then there's some hooks that I haven't checked out yet. So for the buttons, you have this 3D button, which is, you know, very nice and clean. You know, there's that like, there's that oomph when you click it. I like that. This is probably my favorite one right here. This right here is just very pleasing. And I kind of don't want to stop clicking. So um, a win is a win. And now here's the cool part. I love the direction we're going with UI libraries, component libraries, because they're just giving you the code, man. No need to NPM install anything, any nonsense. They just give you the code and it's all right here. And like, for example, for I'll show you guys this button right here, this heartbeat button. This is pretty sick. I like this effect. And I just implemented that on my uh, SAS rank boost. Oh, you should check it out. And like, look at that. That just. You know, it just says click me. I, I kind of want to click it. You know what I mean? And I'll show you how easy it was to implement. Literally to implement that button, all it took was for me to add animate button heart heart uh, animate button heartbeat, um, the background color, and again the codes right here. And then it it also gets you to add some stuff to your tail tailwind co config. Uh, so I added this animation and this keyframe, literally copy paste, and that's it. I have this button right here, super simple, super clean. And then you have this stitches button. Uh, you know, snitches get stitches, so I'm not really going to use that button. Now the features is sick. Now this right here, and here's what I love about these components, right? Because you get the code, you can change it however you want. So I actually I'm uh, adding this to my Nexus starter template, and I actually added a border around these. I actually added a border around these and kind of spaced them out a little bit. And in my opinion, it looks better. But here's the thing, because you get the code, you can do whatever you want, all right? Again, the footer, very minimalistic, very clean. I love it, I love it. And then the input is very interesting where it's not just like your regular text input, but it's one of those where you can sort of add tags or keywords, right? Um, I don't know if I have an application yet where I need use for this, but this could come clutch. Right. And then you have these loaders. I haven't implemented any of these yet, but these are sick. Like this one right here. Like, you know, just this just makes you want to wait. Like, you know, let, let the website cook. So again, super big fan of these. Uh, these are very, very clean. Now, the pricing cards, again, the, this guy just know and sub just knows the right amount of animation. Because you don't want too much. You don't want things like just slowing down. But he adds the right amount of animation to each of these uh, UI elements. And then there's this text right here. And again, the toggle, this toggle is pretty sick. Another thing that I really like from this uh, UI library is the image fade effect. Again, as you can see how like this image fades at the bottom. Let me show you how easy it is to implement. Literally just copy the code, go to my code base. Uh, I already did it, but let's say I didn't do it. I literally just paste this here. And then I would take this div that contains my image. Uh, let me just delete this. Oops, delete this right here and then swap this with my image. All right, let's hit save. Refresh. And there you have it. It's that simple. And so when you take this UI library with ShatCN, with Hyper UI, what was the other one? ShatCN, Hyper UI, and a Saturnity, like there is no reason for you to not create extremely clean front-end applications, UI uh, interfaces, right? This is the day and age where you don't even have to be that good uh, with design, but you just got to know what looks right and what combinations work. And Syntax UI is one of those things that I am adding to my roster, and I just wanted to share that with you.
But again, without further ado, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.